Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle here. I want to do a, uh, an unboxing review of the uh, handheld system, the Nintendo 3DS XL, as well as I uh, show you guys some of the games I bought uh, for the system. So uh, just get right down into it. Uh, I really didn't. Uh, I like you know handheld games. I like to play games on the go, uh, especially to kill time. Um, decided to go Nintendo 3DS XL. Because uh, I just thought that this version was far superior compared to the regular 3DS. And I've never owned it, but um, I've seen them. And I think this one is far superior. So, uh, first of all, I got the color blue. Um, I know I was going to get the matte black uh, since that was newly released over the summer. Uh, they released the color black. But um, after a while, I kind of figured, you know, um, I have so many other consoles and systems that are the same color, black. So I really wanted to step out of my comfort zone and uh, go with something different. So I got blue. And uh, I have to say, I'm really pleased with my uh, choice of color because the blue color is uh, really, really nice. And I think it's much better even than the red. So uh, here you have the uh, blue on the front. As well as, two, you also have your uh, 3D cameras here uh, that you see. The 3D cameras there. On the back, also blue. It says 3DS XL. Um, here you have your uh, your four gigabyte memory card, uh, much larger memory compared to the regular 3DS, which I believe had two. Uh, here you have your uh, statless, which they moved back to the side with the other 3DS. It was uh, on top, which is what a lot of people had complained about. Um, here you have your uh, your shoulder your shoulder buttons. You have your uh, slot where you put in the uh, SD card for your games. Here you have your uh, slot to put in your uh, your charger and which by the way um, mine does come with the AC adapter uh, power adapter I know in Europe and Japan it's sold separately but here you have the system itself this is what it looks like the inside you have your two speakers on the side you have uh, an inner camera as you can see this big huge large screen here uh, you have a uh, your 3D feature on and off, which I mostly use off because the 3D just kind of hurts my eyes. You have your circle pad, D-pad, your lower screen, touch screen. You have your uh, select, home, and start button. This is your power button. Here on the side here, you have a, uh, a button here to turn on for Wi-Fi to get your Wi-Fi signal. Uh, you know, I used to say, like, you know, is this system really worth $200 for a handheld, really? But, uh... After seeing it, because I'm saying, because all it does is just in 3D, but it does more than just play games in 3D, which is its main gimmick. Um, you can take pictures on this thing. Uh, it has a camcorder. Uh, it has a pretty strong internet connection. I mean, when you connect to the internet, you get a pretty good good signal. Uh, so I'm just going to take you guys to the pictures here really quick, because uh, for a handheld, handheld uh, I was pretty impressed uh, with the quality of the pictures that you get. So as you can see, it, the camera is pointing towards uh, the AC adapter that's behind it. Um, you can also have, it also has a camcorder on here as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, this here, for example, this is a picture of one of my classmates uh, from school. Uh, as you can see uh, here, it's the clarity, it's pretty clear. Um, I say it's Probably matchable with uh, an average cell phone, uh, camera phone. Uh, the, the picture is that good. Um, it's not HD quality, but it's, it's, it's still pretty good. It's, it's clear. You know, another classmate of mine. So it gives really good quality pictures for a, a hand, handheld. And I'm really impressed by that. You can also turn in, turn your pictures into 3D as well. I don't know if you can probably see that. And just, you can see the 3D light up in the corner. You know, the 3D is on. Uh, now, when you have the 3D feature on when playing video games, um, it does drain more power, uh, battery power from the system. Uh, the system gives you about four hours total of uh, play time. So I don't think that's that's bad at all. I'm just going to turn that off right now. Uh, and just kind of give you guys a little side comparison here, side by side comparison. Now, this is a Nintendo DS Lite. Um, like I said, I never had the original 3DS. But uh, just to kind of give you a size comparison here, and you can just see just how massive um, the 3DS is compared to the um, Nintendo DS Lite. Uh, just a massive handheld. Um, and in it being massive, a lot of people say that, you know, it's 
uncomfortable. I haven't felt any discomfort at all with it in my hands whatsoever. Very comfortable. Uh, it's $200. I got mine on sale at Target for $150. It's Black Friday. So um, if you um, if you just so happen to uh, get this on sale, I say get it because I think it's worth it. Um, otherwise, if you just pay the 200 buck price, I still think it's, it's worth it even then. Uh, some people, like I say, granted, kind of complain that you can't put it in your pocket compared to uh, its predecessor, the DS Lite. Uh, which I agree, but I mean, if you get a case here, which I got for uh, $15, uh, I bought this case for 15 bucks, you can throw it in your backpack or something. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. So that's the system there. That's for the games I get. And also, too, uh, one other thing that's really important. Um, this is backwards compatible to Nintendo DS games. So you can play Nintendo DS games on the 3DS. Um, the games for the regular DS just won't be rendered in 3D. You can't play them in 3D. And for some games, uh, just for the larger screen purposes, um, you can kind of play, it looks better on the 3D. It doesn't change graphically, but it just looks better because it's on a bigger screen. So um, let's just get right into the games here. So uh, what I got here is uh, Super Mario 64 DS. You guys remember Mario 64, one of the greatest Mario games of all time. Uh, for the Nintendo DS, this is one of those kind of games I bought specifically just to play on the 3DS. Uh, because I heard that this game is, it's fun, but it's better to play on the 3DS due to the circle pad. Because with the regular D-pad, it's a bit difficult to play. Um, and I also got uh, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. I got uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. I've never been a big Mario guy uh, in terms of games. Played this for like an hour and a half. Couldn't stop. Really fun. I got, uh, what is this? Beyblade Evolution. Uh, when I was a younger kid, I had quite a few Beyblade games uh, for my game, when they were available for Game Boy Advance. Uh, they were fun to play. A lot of time passed, passed up. Had fun playing those. So I thought, what the hell, I'll get one for the 3DS. Pokemon Y. Uh, my main reason for getting a uh, 3DS. Fun game. Uh, I got a Donkey Kong Country 3D. Love Donkey Kong. That's my that's my monkey right there. And then last but not least, I got uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Uh, heard nothing but great things about this. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing, my review. You let me know what you think in the comment box below. Subscribe. Peace.